All right, so it's time to install the siding. Um, as you may see from previous video, the, I've rearranged my wood. Before I had a piece of wood going across this way, but the reason I rearranged it is because this wall bracket has this rubber piece here, and this takes care of any vibration. And also, it was basically sitting like this, so all the weight, all the weight would be right here. So this part was not supported, this bottom piece. So I wanted this completely supported. So I've got rid of the horizontal board and put in two vertical ones. So let's install the siding around it. Now, as I mentioned before, I want to have two inch insulation here. So here's my insulation board, but I'm still not sure what kind of siding I want to do. So at this point, I'm not gonna put it there. I'm just gonna put vinyl around it and then figure it out later because I'm gonna do it maybe next year or something like that. So let's begin. For vinyl, you wanna use really sharp uh, scissors like this. I got this for seven bucks at a uh, uh, Harbor Freight. I uh, used to buy this type of color snips at, uh, at Sears, Craftsman, but they no longer sell it. And since most Sears go out of business anyway, Harbor Freight sells really good ones. Uh, you want long one, long tips, this or three inch, they cut really well. And uh, I also use this for metal roofing. Okay, so let's begin. I already cut this, so just snip it. So we need a piece that would be like, it would extend by three quarter inch on each side of the two by. So I'm gonna mark my edges and my cut line, about three, three quarter of an inch. But if you go a little more, that's fine. And you cut it just like so. Pretty cold, so may crack. And here, I'm gonna miter this end and just fold this end over. You can see I cut this at an angle so I can insert it in there. Then for mitering, for folding this over, I'm gonna cut it like this and at 45 degrees. This gives us this kind of mitered look. Just need to cut it a little bit more to get a straight 45, just like so. So this is what we're doing right there, and we fold this over. It's not necessary, but uh, just a nice little touch. Same thing here, we gotta do the small piece first.
All right, so our J channel is done. Now let's do the siding. All right, so our first piece of siding will go right here. Just align it properly. And uh, we'll mark it about a quarter inch from the inside of the J channel. Here is our So this is where we're gonna cut it. I don't know if you can see it well, but anyway, <laughs> we'll see you soon. So this is where siding hook would really be handy, but as I said, Home Depot stopped selling them, so I have, have to do it uh, you know, the old-fashioned way. In the old-fashioned way, it hurts a little bit. So I'm going to try to do it with this screw, Just try to pull the lock down.
All right, well, we can finish this later. So we're now ready to install our mount, so let's do that.